Hey guys, how's it going? It's Champ Animation, Champ96TP, whatever the heck you want to call me, and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts GT Kid Goku. As you can see on the package, there's the side, there is the back, and then there's the side one more, and the front. So let's bust this guy open and take a look at him. Alright, so fresh out of the package, and yeah, this guy is a lot smaller than the previous Dragon Ball Goku, uh, Kid Goku. But honestly, I don't mind. I think this is the right height for a Kid Goku. Um, just show off a comparison right here. So here he is next to Chaozu, and here he is next to the Dragon Ball OG version of Goku, of Kid Goku. And I honestly prefer how the GT Kid Goku looks a lot more. I mean, it just looks a lot better, to be honest. It, it, they, they scaled down the, the head so he doesn't look, have such of a bubble head. Uh, the torso is all one piece, and the legs are a lot shorter. To be honest, this is the perfect height for a Kid Goku. Uh, the other, the OG Dragon Ball Kid Goku was just a little bit too tall. Now that we got the height comparison out of the way, let's test the articulation starting off with his arm and let's see if we can raise his arm above his head. Oh my God, not again. This is the second time, please tell me I can fix it, please. Okay, it popped back in there, we're all good. Oh my God, that's a mini heart attack. Just be careful when you're articulating the arm. My only gripe with this figure is that when you're playing around with the arm, uh, the joint, you can see the joint in there underneath the sleeve, I mean, it's whatever, it's just that I wish they can just cover the, cover that up better. But his arms do bend more than 90 degrees, so pretty good. His torso can crunch forward that much, and can bend back that much. Uh, he's got that ankle rotation, and you can see he's got uh, a little bit of ankle pivot, and then toes, he's got articulated toes! Uh, shout out to Shadowbiz Prime! Um, and then you can see double jointed legs, he can bend back pretty well, you know, he can, he can take a knee. And uh, for his legs, he can, um, yeah, they can kick up pretty high and the skirt does not get in the way that much. Actually, it doesn't get in the way at all. And then, of course, even with his hands, he's got a swivel right there on that ball joint right there. Just be careful taking the hands off, people. And his head is on a ball joint so he can look side to side, uh, he can look down that much, and it looks up that much honestly pretty good for his accessories he comes with three different face plates uh, an alternate hair piece uh, an alternate skirt piece and a wide variety of hands and a Kamehameha blast which is very interesting about this Kamehameha which I don't remember if the uh, the legendary Super Saiyan Goku had this or not but for this Kamehameha um, not only do you have like, you know, the hands that can peg into the, the, the key blast, but the little beams of light that comes out of the orb are, are articulated. So you can move them around so they don't get in like Goku's face or whatever. So that's new. I don't know if they did this before or not, but this is pretty, this is a pretty cool feature. So, um, yeah, um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, if, uh, someone has done it, maybe Demonical Fit or something. Someone has probably made that, but yeah. And as for the other accessories, he does come with um, these like kung fu, karate, martial arts type hands. He's got two sets of them, so I guess it's just the way the fingers are positioned. So that's that's interesting. And then he has the other two sets of charging slash key blast hands. And to switch out the accessories, it's pretty easy. Just pop off the torso, put overlap the skirt on over the pants. Pop it back on. Uh, same thing with the head, you know, just pop it off the joint and then switch it out with the windy hair accessory. It's real easy to change. You don't have to worry about breaking anything. It, it, they come off real easy. Yeah, and honestly, that looks pretty cool. Um, I might just have Goku pose like this on my shelf for, yeah, honestly, I love this look. That's all I can say, really. And here's a comparison between the demonical fit GT Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and honestly I am so glad that we're getting more GT Gokus not just in the official party but you know 
third party as well. It just is, this is amazing. This is my dream come true. I'm so glad I have all these Gokus. Now we just need a Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 3, and then my wish shall be complete. But yeah, definitely pick this guy up if you haven't already. And for a final height comparison, here's the Dragon Stars Baby Vegeta and the Dragon Stars Omega Shenron. Honestly, he just looks great with these guys. I mean, I, I'll, I'll say it again. I'm just glad we're getting more Dragon Ball GT figures. And yes, you can attach the power pole to this Goku. Um, if you want to know if you can head swap, well, that's a different story. Yes, you can head swap, but unfortunately the head's just going to rest on there. You know, no support because the other head sculpt, the neck peg is just, yeah, it's built into the hair. So unless you have some sticky tech or something, then I mean, it's not bad, though. It's not it's not bad. Just wobbly. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's my review. Are you guys going to pick this guy up? I highly re recommend it, to be honest. You can't have too many Gokus. <laughs> but no, I'm definitely going to grab a second copy of this because I know we're going to get more accessories with this figure. The GT Trunks is already going to come out with a tail, thank God, and another face place. Hopefully we can get a Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 3 head. But anyway, guys, that's my review. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.